you went to San Diego. Yeah, I uh, I just came back yesterday, so uh, you know, still a little jet lag. And the weather is like unfair. It's just like so good. Every day is the same, and it's perfect. I, but it's also kind of creepy. Like I I got back and it was humid and the it was too hot, and I was kind of like, nice. This is <laughs> this is what I'm used to. It has character. Yeah, so has character. I mean, obviously, I, you know, my, the rhythm of my life was born here, so this is what I'm used to. But yeah. there, there was something a little unsell- unsettling about every day being exactly perfect. I remember when, um, yeah, when I was in Los Angeles, I was in a hot, an outdoor hot tub, um, you know, like five days before Christmas. And I, and I remember being like, this is, this is stupid. This is not good. This is, <laughs> this is wrong. This, it, but, you know, it, it feels like, um, like reality itself has been bent. <laughs> it's yeah. not, not a good thing. But I mean, I didn't really go outside like the convention. I was at the San Diego Convention Center, famous for the San Diego Con- Comic Con. In a month, right? They still do that? Oh, yeah, I guess. I guess I, I, they do that. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't think the San Diego Comic Con has been very relevant in the recent past. But it was uh, it was nice. And like, obviously, the Mexican food is like, I'm, like I had a burrito and I was like, oh, my. I don't think I've had a burrito before <laughs> i got to finish super mario wonder on the plane which was nice yeah. i'm not super psyched about super mario wonder uh, but it was it was good to finish it i think outside the wonders like the levels just don't feel like they have much like character or soul like you know it's like a, our buddy super ant and he did that video where like if you strip all the graphics out of like super Mar- mario world the, like the levels aren't very don't have much character and i feel like that's yeah. kind of similar to Mario yeah, they're, they're, they're a bit like long and flat without some of the obstacles, right? Yeah, so I just didn't feel like I was being like challenged much. And the wonders were like kind of fun and a change of pace, but I don't know. I like to me ultimately didn't do much for me. And also, like, I, I love like different varied bosses. They would some of these worlds would end without a boss, or it would uh, just yeah. be Bowser Jr. again. But the I think I thought the finale was fun because they they do like kind of a the last level they do like a best best hits of all the wonders in a row which i thought was pretty cool yeah and uh the you know the bowser boss is kind of like a rhythm battle game which was different so my yeah. defense of it is I, I i think i've played so many 2d mario games that i wasn't nece- I, I wasn't in need of one that um was replayable and so this one just like keeps giving you variety and so like you get to have a little dopamine rush every time there's a wonder and then you're done with the game. And I was like, that's kind of all I needed, you know? I mean, six yeah. feels steep, but still. Yeah. As far as like 2d platformers go, it, 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 it was you know, like, it's like, it's like with Zelda, like even the worst Zelda is a good game. <laughs> you know, it's like yeah. you're, you're oh, not going to go we, wrong. Like we, we should probably cover Nintendo Direct. I thought it was a pretty good, like, it's like one of those, I saw something on Twitter. It was like, it's like a Nintendo has like a seven year old Android tablet and they still like do making games better than the other companies. And it's true because yeah, the horsepower doesn't matter or it hasn't. Yeah. Like since the GameCube, really, I but mean, even, I would even argue that like, um, you know, the NES era, it lasted deep into when better technology existed. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's always like what you do with it. And, and there have been systems that have incredible graphical capabilities and there's shit loads of shovelware. So, it, you know, it's, it's always software. And the, there was a recent, I think it was like Nintendo had an investor meeting or something like that. And the president said something very smart. He was like, yeah, like with modern games, there's a longer development time, but we're able to balance that with basically double A games. So they they have games that have lower budgets with quicker turnaround times to hold you over until those like huge, like seven year development time games, you know, so they, they're and I think especially since they combined, you know, the the 3DS type games platforms with console type platforms they're able to really focus their energy and so um yeah that's why i think nintendo is and can succeed in the future is because they're 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 able to balance underpowered yeah underpowered systems tend to have less development time because you're not you know making as many assets or whatever and also in between yeah fair prices and also, yeah, less development time for those kind of underpowered games. 
it, but they still do make like big seven year games like tears of the kingdom. So, yeah. 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 It, it's an impressive company and they, you know, obviously they went through their low point, you know, 10 years ago or whatever, but they've always had something for us. Um, I, yeah. I, I think the sw- okay. I think the switch is the perfect gaming system. And it's, it's like the perfect size. It's the perfect everything. Like you, you don't feel that weird about busting it out power just enough to, to be, be good. I think, I think some games it's showing its age, like what, like tears of the kingdom and like uh Xenoblade Chronicles three, or it's like, I wish this was a little bit more powered, like maybe steam deck powered era. And I think that's what the switch two will be. I think it'll be just basically a switch with more power. And, and I'm that's... confident that they'll make it so that your existing purchase, your existing digital purchases will be compatible i'm i'm confident of it uh, they have to yeah so so some of the announcements well one of the big ones was the legend of zelda echoes of wisdom which is kind of like a link's awakening for the remake style but with you're finally controlling zelda it seems like it also has because you're like summoning items and it kind of has like a it's like almost like a Breath of the Wild feel where you're, you're gathering all these items and you're, you're kind of a little open worldly looks. It looks like um, so it's kind of combining the best of both worlds, like that lo fi design. Very specifically, the, the Link's Awakening remaster design. Yes, Very specifically yes, the, that. And I, I think that looks great. Um, yeah. My boys were really, <laughs> they were really uh, excited about it. I sh- showed them the trailer and they're like, it's like, oh, wait, it's like in Link, like in most Zeldas, you're trying to save Princess Zelda. But in this one, you're Zelda trying to save Link. And I'm like, yeah, that's right. <laughs> they're, they're switching up. Any game that has a has a um, an objective, Gloria is not interested. Um, <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, uh, her, her, uh, her cousin, her cousin was over recently. He's a boy. And she was like, I want to play Disney Infinity with you. And we started playing and she starts creating her level and she starts wanting to play hide and seek inside the 3D environment. And he was like, what are you doing in this game? Like, I, he was very patient for like 15 minutes before we're like, what are we doing? And then he like realized that he has guns and he was just shooting stuff and try, wanting to kill stuff. And she was like, I'm making a little room over here and we're going to have guests. <laughs> we're going to have guests over later. How many guests should we have at our party? And he, I was like, this is uh... she's such a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh jeez! But I think uh, this kind of game is perfect for like in between Breath of the Wild size games. It's good. I think that's a smart move to make these kind of. When is it gonna be not for pussies? It reminds me of I was. Th- it always captured my imagination that you had the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles arcade game. Then you had the NES, like, you know, the famously dumpy game by whatever the, the Konami knockoff was or the, the uh, Ultra, relabeled whatever. Konami. Yeah, Ultra. And then they made, they ported the arcade game and called it two. And then they made a third that was a sequel to the ported demake <laughs> yes. that never was in the arcade. Like, it's always captured my imagination the way that like evolved. And this is kind of similar where it's like, it takes a really old ass game, modernizes it, then sequelizes it. Well, I don't know if it's actually a sequel, but it's a, certainly a, a successor in terms of the aesthetic. Yeah, I'm chronologically confused, but... Um... Yeah. <laughs> what were they thinking? <laughs> Whenever we were uh... little, everybody would always think, you're playing a Zelda. Well, this time you really are playing a Zelda. <laughs> Uh, uh, scrolling through more of the announcements, uh, Metroid Prime 4 was finally revealed with gameplay. Holy. I'm, How many I'm years sure... ago did they put up that logo? I was like, yeah, uh, let's see. Eight years ago? 2017, so seven years ago. So... Um, so people are happy that... I, I mean, I'm actually happy to see it. It doesn't look like groundbreaking. It definitely looks like more Metroid Prime, but I, I think that's fine. I think you should... You know, play the hits. <laughs> you know, and they, they uh, also they, they don't over there at Nintendo. They they don't tr- they don't fuck you as often as they used to. Um, <laughs> you know, they were kind of famous for like doing the thing that the fans didn't want them to do. Now yes. they'll be they'll be like, no, no, no. Like we're gonna Metro Prime Four is gonna be good. If it's not ready, we're not gonna release it, and we're not gonna leave you without a game because we have announced it. So we're gonna make Metroid Dread. We're gonna make the Metroid Prime Remaster. Yeah, yeah, and the Metroid Prime Remaster was good. It was like better than my expectations, and I I had no, I didn't even know they were doing it. And they like knocked it out of the park. So I'm not expecting much more than just like more Metroid Prime, and that's what all I'm I, all I wanted. I, some people seem more disappointed. I'm not. I, I I haven't really looked into their criticisms, so I don't know what they're looking for in a Metroid Prime. I think they think it just looks more samey, but I don't know. I want samey. I want the same. Thing. Yeah, I'm old. Yeah. Like, like if they made a new Star Fox, I'd want it to just be Star Fox. You know. 
Yeah, it was just some yeah, if it's star if it's exactly like Star Fox sixty four but with more levels, I'd be fine. Yeah. Like Good graphics, or more rem- levels. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um or if um F Zero yeah, like F Zero. If it's different tracks, it's cool. Like I'm old, I I can't. I, I too much novelty will will scare me away. So. <laughs> F Zero is an RPG now. <laughs> oh oh fuck shit! That. <laughs> fuck. That. Well, speaking of, yeah, speaking of RPGs, uh, Mario and Luigi Brothership. That's a RPG series, uh, but it's 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 kind of notable because. The company that made the original Mario and Luigi series went out of business, so people thought that was the last of the series. But no, they're bringing it back, and that's cool. That's a lot of Mario RPG content in a short period of time. Uh, but yeah, if, if you I like mean, the, it, the Arlos of the world are eating good, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I thought Mario and Luigi had died. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Bowser had killed them. Everything about it is perfect. Everything about this is everything that I could want it to be. And, and it looks, it, it looks like Mario and Luigi. I, 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 I don't just mean it looks, that, it feels like Mario and Luigi. <laughs> One notable thing b- about that, though, is, um, so I've been playing Mario Wonder, and I feel like the Mario and Luigi voices have, are, are a little estranged now. But in this in this trailer, it's the same voice actor. I think he's been improving. So they sound a little more Mario-esque to me. I actually do, not to sound like Arlo myself, <laughs> but I actually do think it's kind of cool that the Mario brand can just be so many things. It can be so many game types, for one thing. And I, I really like that the they're, they're not going... He's said this to death, so forgive me, but... um. They're not going by like a design book, like a design Bible. That's like he always looks this way. He always looks like he does on the Pez dispenser. Um, you know, you can have like Mario Wonder. You can have Mario and Luigi. You can have. You have the Mario movie. You have the movie. Yeah. So like they're not precious anymore about like he can be almost anything, which is I, I think is really great. Yeah, that, well, it's like what they do with Legend of Zelda. Zelda. Like Link yeah. always looks different, and but it still feels Zelda. It's 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 a, yeah, it's very fun. Dragon Quest, whatever. Um, Donkey Kong Country Returns HD. I think that's good. Uh, Anytime you you pour over a um, a Wii game that was pretty good but had motion controls and was standard def, I'm I'm a, I'm a happy guy. Yeah, I, like why not? Why not? Just fill up the eShop with all of it. Yeah. HD remasters of everything. Yeah. I'll take it. Don't send me to um, Dolphin. I want. I'll buy it right on your store. But I played because they re- they remade it before on the 3DS, and I actually played that one a lot. Oh yeah, that was that was the version I played was on the 3DS, and that was um, like the inaugural like tropical freeze style. You know, the when Nintendo or whoever their new contractor was started doing it. Yeah, it was Retro Studios did it, and uh, they did a great job. Uh, I like Tropical Freeze. I think you know has evolved that, that even more, and I think that's a great game but this one's good too it's it's, why not have it i think these are considerably better than the super nintendo games considerably i i agree i agree i think the the retro games are better than the rare one and it's not really like i like the like music of the the old ones the rare ones i like the there's things i like about it but there's something that's a little jank about it something that's a little and maybe it's too like loose or too hard or something. There's this something that the country returns one. No, the, the 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 ones for the Super Nintendo. The oh ones yeah, that... yeah, yeah. It's it's not quite. I mean, I guess by the second and third one, it was much improved. But yeah, um, some of, just for me, the some of the challenges are just like go fuck yourself. <laughs> or it's like a little bit too, maybe too repetitive. There's something. There's something yeah. that's. I don't know. Not you quite. You get to like there, World but... Six, and you're like, "Am I still playing this?" But uh, yeah, I agree. The the newer reboot ones from ten years ago are great, and I'm glad we're getting it again. So uh, let's see, Super Mario Party. I'm not the biggest Super Mario Party fan. I'm sure somebody is. Cool. Next. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Yeah, actually, honestly, uh, I actually, like, I, I've never played uh, Switch Sports, but I've, I, I, we actually play Wii Sports Resort uh, with some frequency. The one with, uh, in, in particular, there's one that you do wakeboarding and you flick the thing to wakeboard. It's actually quite fun. And I'm, oh. I'm probably more likely to play Nintendo Switch Sports than I am Mario Party Jamboree. <laughs> It was pretty cool. They announced the Marvel versus Capcom fighting collection. I know cool. I have I have it uh, 
Every behind me or <laughs> like uh by emulation but uh but you know i i think people were excited that it's getting any sort of re-release of uh, these these capcom fighting games it's they, every they are. capcom game that contains marvel properties in it it's x x-men children of adam superheroes marvel versus street fighter x-men versus street fighter all of those marvel versus capcom even the punisher so you get a lot of good capcom Marvel but do have to say, they, somebody's got to man up and release X Men arcade game. It's not available anywhere. That's Konami, so you gotta right. you gotta pry them away from their pachinko machines or whatever they make. <laughs> <laughs> no, we want to. <laughs> oh, well, this NES World Championships thing, I think, looks really fun. Yeah, it's almost like a spiritual successor for NES Remix, which I think they should release that too, or just package it on there. You know, throw it in. That's a great idea. That's a great idea, and I, I uh, I'll definitely be picking that up i'm, I'm not going to pick up the what do you call it, the physical version where you get a fake nes card if it was a real nes card i'd pick it up but. yeah actually that'd be amazing the truth is we have been nes out and i love nes don't get me wrong but like you know they, it's just they've been re-released a million it's like it's hard to get excited about an nes thing on the uh, on nintendo switch online at this point um and so anything you can do but you know it's a big part of their brand the nes it's where they started mm. it's the iconography from the nes i think is still really sells for them and millennials have all the money the rest of the announcements i don't luigi's mansion uh, 2 and then you got your although yeah. have they ever released the first one in hd on on the switch because you, you want to have all three i think I do like the idea of like HD remakes of 3DS games on the Switch for sure. I think that was on the 3DS. Yeah, I don't think it's on the Switch. I don't think it's on the Switch, but they should do that. People keep talking about GameCube games on Nintendo Switch Online or whatever, and it's like, you know, I don't think they're going to emulate. I don't think they're going to have like a GameCube emulator. I think I think for those games that they'd much prefer to port and remaster. Yeah, they do a premium experience. Yeah. I, I think so. Because they're close enough to a modern game at that rate. They announced like Turok and oh, yeah. Perfect Dark for the Nintendo Switch Online. So they have like a, a mature app that you can go into now. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know, whatever. Well, once you own a, 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 an N64 uh, EverDrive, it's very hard to want to play N64 any other way. Yeah, and I actually and I use the wireless N64, it's over there actually, with a dongle on the original system. So it's the NSO wireless one that they sell online. You can hook it up to your old N64 and then I have the EverDrive and I don't really want to boot up a app on my on my uh, Nintendo Switch. My, my thing has stopped moving. What's going on here? Controller. Let's try this again. My controller stopped working. Subscribe to Red Cow Entertainment on Patreon for full episodes every other week.